like serving up matches, though, bro. Can't deal with it. You're struggling with it. <laughs> Literally, as soon as you held, I was like, good one. <laughs> yeah, I know. It sounds like just a head throw. <laughs> too far. Did I fart? Yeah. We're too far. Oh. So guys, congrats again. Another uh, fantastic atmosphere out there. How do you see your next round, semi final against Granollers and Ceballos? Uh, yeah, well, we're going to. I think. I don't know if we have. Do I have a day off? Do you know? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, so we'll enjoy that. Um, Mick will be in here early training. He's a new man. Uh, no, it's tough. These guys are really good. Everyone we play now, everyone who we played since we started, um, really good opponents. We're, we're stoked with this win. We came big in the big points. And. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously the guys are experienced veterans, but we're going to keep playing how we play and enjoy it and have fun and use the crowd. Well done, guys. Listen, what do you do in terms of getting intel on these players that you're playing against? Uh, do you, you're finding out from other players or are you just hitting the court and seeing how it goes? Um, well, it, to be brutally honest, I just don't even worry about... I didn't even know who we played yesterday. I mean, two days ago, I didn't even know but when I walked out there. I mean, I just know if we play our game and we can, you know, use the crowd, use the energy, serve well, worry about us, staying, like, you know... Don't worry about the external, just control what we can control and we'll be fine. Like today, we knew it was going to be some ups and downs. That's a, that's a bloody good doubles pair that we played today. You know, they obviously had a great year last year and you could tell that they were, they were tough. They didn't really drop their level at all. We played a good return game in the third. Um, but we just concentrate on what we need to do. We know what we do well and, and, it's, and it's world class. So that's what we'll do again. Boys, uh, Nick in particular, you played in front of some pretty wild crowds, mate. That seemed like a different level of wild today. Is, is that probably as wild as you've played in front of? And, and also, like, semis, final, do you hope you guys stay there for, for both if you do get through that semi? Um, yeah, it's definitely. I mean, I think this Australian Open, I think with everything that people have gone through, they just are so happy to see Aussies have success. You know, Demon in the fourth round. You know, us, you know, kind of carrying the flag in doubles a little bit. But, I mean, I just... This is this Oz Open, and honestly, I think for us, it's more about the people. Like playing for them is more important than our double success. You know, we don't, we haven't drawn up any goals of what we want to achieve this year in doubles. I just want to play and give the people of Australia and the Australian Open a show, and genuinely try and grow the sport of tennis. That's why I'm playing, and I know for us, just yeah. enjoying it. Like this is the most fun we've ever had on the court. The thrill for us is honestly walking out there. Um, we will worry about. This sounds stupid, but we worry about kind of what happens in the match after. But it's just seeing seeing the support we've gotten and the crowd go nuts every time we get out there and how much they're enjoying it, that kind of gets us going and, and gets us motivated to do better for them, honestly. Boys, can you talk us through the hand signals? Um, Nick, you, uh, they, they got quite a lot of attention, particularly on the uh, broadcast on those Zoom. Did Are you, you talking about when I grabbed his ass or...? Uh, no, when uh, that to, no, I didn't. That's why I wanted a photo. photo. I was like, is there photos? <laughs> 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 no, when uh, fancy serving... And, um, yeah. This is cross. This is all we do. This is cross. This is stay, and this is fake. That's that's our signal. I think that's, is that us? That's just normal. That's ours. I mean, that's just normal, but we do it better. Obviously. <laughs> I honestly learned signals this tournament. Yeah, we don't usually signal. No. One more, if I can. Just Nick, you said the other day that um, TV rating is up forty-five percent. I think today you started not on any channel, and quickly you bumped off the Nadal game on nine. What do you make of that? The fact that you you weren't there to start, and then I think by three, all you were front and center. I mean. You know, Nadal's a hell of a player, I think. That's I was unexpected. I wouldn't expect that. You know, that Chapeau and... Sh sure yeah, Shapovalov and Nadal are, are two, hell, the two probably of the best players in the world right now. It's one of, the, one of the most exciting younger guys as well. But, I mean, I think we're just... The level of entertainment, I think, is different, I think. It's kind of easier in doubles. You can feed off each other a bit. Singles is a lot more serious. I know Nick, Nick makes it the other way, which is, which is unbelievable and really tough to do, especially when you're playing in a real competitive environment. But I think having us to feed off each other, we can just talk rubbish in between points, look at our box. We've got a comedian in the box, so we talk rubbish to him as well. And it's just, yeah, we just have fun out there. The nasty, the way you've started singles and doubles so far this year, is this the most confidence you've had in your game for a long time? Yeah, and I think it's all started with my body, to be honest. When that's, when that's been in motion, then I've been able to actually give myself a chance to play. And, I couldn't have asked for a better summer. I know the singles here didn't quite go how I wanted. It was a quick turnaround. I wasn't able to find it. But, um, yeah, I'm not complaining with, it, with the start I've had to the year. Um, super stoked to do it in Adelaide and to play here with Nick, one of my best mates in that atmosphere in this crowd. And hopefully I can use this to springboard my year. But, yeah, super happy with how I've started. Catherine. So many sports, like cricket, other sports are trying to find, like, quirky, faster formats to get young people Mm. to watch. Mm. When I see the crowd coming out of your match, it's all young people and they've had the time of their life. 
Do you think sport has always had what it needed, personalities, and we just needed to see that? Definitely. I mean, when I'm trying, um, you know, there's no, no way around it. Me and Thanasi are definitely uh, role models to the youth in Australia. And, you know, we obviously attract that crowd. And I know that over the years I haven't been the best role model, but I was just learning how to deal with everything. And I think now at 26, I've matured and I definitely realise that a lot of young kids and people, even, you know, people that are low in confidence, they do look towards us when we go out there. You know, we, we, we're, not, we're not special people. You know, we're normal humans that you might see walking in Australia and we've now in the semifinals of a Grand Slam. Um, I feel like I think we're just relatable. I think that's what's the best thing about it. They they go out there and they get behind their mates. You know, most of our most of the guys in the crowd are our mates. Um, you know, we've got our team members that have been through injuries. You know, in Fanasi's case and me, been around some in some dark times. So, I guess tennis has always had personalities. And I said this before. I think they just really struggled to understand that there are different ways to go about it. You know, you got Roger Federer and these guys that are just once in generation athletes. That not, a, not I can't be like that. Like we're not like that. You know, I feel like that has to be people that are more, I guess, a little bit more relatable. Last one in the room. Anyone? Over there. If I could just ask on um, Peng Shui how the Australian Open asked some activists to remove um, shirts that said, where is Peng? And I know, Nick, you said last week that we can't forget about her. What is your reaction to that? Should they be allowed to wear the shirts? They're raising money to wear them um, on Saturday. Um, I, I, honestly, I've got so much going on right now. And obviously, I've been doing... I've been more professional than I've ever been for this doubles than I've, I think I've ever done in my life. And I really just i am putting all my focus in this. I'm trying to just enjoy every moment. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I didn't even know that that was the case at the moment. So, you know, I think that's for a question for someone, I think, not playing in the semifinals of the Grand Slam. But I mean, you know, I, I don't want to comment too much on it. Obviously, like there's a lot of noise around the Australian Open already from what's happened the last couple of weeks. So I think I want to stay clear of any controversy. And we'll take an online question from Craig Gabriel, CrossCore Promotions. Guys, at the entertainment that you all have been providing this, these last few days, and 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 it's not as if you're playing years, doubles Craig, on years. a well, years. years, okay, years. I'll, I'll take that point, Nick. Um, but do you think we're going to see more of the two of you teaming up this year? It's up to Nick. He's in. He's in high demand. I'm just trying to trying to get him where I can. But uh, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we can. I mean, we have a lot of fun. Depends what schedule he's playing. Hopefully, now that my ranking's getting a bit better, we can play a lot of the same tournaments. So yeah, I'd love to be on court with him. I don't think uh, it's going to be tough to match this atmosphere here mm -hmm. around the world. But you know, as I said, we're not doubles specialists. We don't like think let's do all these great things in doubles. We just want to have fun and play together. And hopefully, the results will come after that. Nicholas. Craig. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. <laughs> Obviously, whenever I can play, um, you know, with Thanos, I'd, I'd love to. I mean, you all know that I don't really play a really tight schedule, so I'm not sure. Maybe Wimby, Wimbledon's best of five sets. I reckon we'd maybe play US Open. That's the other grand slam I can see, but I don't really know. I don't really know. Okay. Thank you, everyone. That concludes our press conference with Thanasi Kokonakis and Nick Kyrgios. <laughs>